Okay, class, so I'm gonna try and go through here and do um, what would be a speedy version of going through the review packet so we don't have a super long video. Um, but you can always remember, hit pause or rewind or whatever if you need to re-see something or need time to write something down or anything like that. So here we go. Number one, right, we undo subtracting 50 by adding 50. Negative 49 plus 50 gives us one, so we should have B. Number two, we're gonna undo subtracting four fifths by adding four fifths. Even if you say you feel overwhelmed by that fraction, remember in your calculator, you can just go ahead and add the three eighths plus the four fifths. It will give you a one and seven fortieths, so that's a B. Number three, we have a couple options. That three eighths is being held on by multiplication. We undo multiplication with division, okay? So we can be dividing by 3 eighths, but remember dividing by 3 eighths is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Um, there's also some of you who have been multiplying by eight and then dividing by three. Either way, that gives us an answer of 72, which is D. Number four, we wanna solve for H. We have a negative six, right? So to move the negative six, we'll undo subtracting by adding a negative six, which gives us a negative two. If you wanted to change that into addition and then subtract, that would be fine as well. We undo addition and subtraction first. So on number five, we're gonna subtract the five. And then we will either, again, multiply the reciprocal, um, multiply by seven and then divide by three or divide by the three sevenths. Again, any of those options are fine. You just can't mix the options up. Um, so we get seven, which is A. Number six, we have parentheses, so we need to distribute. So we'll get a negative three Y. A negative times a negative is a positive. We will undo addition and subtraction first. Divide by negative three, we'll get a negative four. So that is A. Number seven, we have variables on both sides. So to get them together, we're using the opposite sign. Okay, then we undo addition and subtraction. We'll get X equals negative two. So there's lots of questions on this one in class, right? When X and Y are together, we need to move that X first with the um, opposite sign. So of this cancel that leaves us with a negative two Y equals a negative six minus three X. And then we'll divide by the negative two. Okay, so two negatives make a positive three. And again, two negatives here make a positive three halves. If you turn this into a decimal, keep in mind 1.5 is the same thing as one and one half, which is the same thing as three over two. So if you had it in a different form, you would need to recognize an equivalent form in the multiple choice. Or nine, if we subtract the X, we'll say four Y equals eight minus X. Okay, so there'll be an eight divided by four and an X divided by four. So eight divided by four gives us a two. And then, right, there's really a one here. So a negative one fourth X. We know it can't be here or here because it doesn't have the X divided by anything. And this one has the um, sign wrong. Number 10, we're solving for T. So we'll undo a positive S by subtracting S. So T is R minus S, which is B. Number 11, right in front we have subtraction. So we'll undo that with addition. Gonna negative 19. I'll start to do some different colors here so we can keep them separated. Okay, number 12, we always undo addition and subtraction first, then multiplication and division. So we'll x equals three. Number 13, we have that long fraction bar. So to get rid of that large fraction, right, we're gonna multiply first. Okay, then we'll undo subtraction with addition. We'll divide by negative three. So you can turn this into a decimal, but it's gonna be a repeating decimal. So you at least need to make sure that you have it non-rounded. Okay, so you could have negative 6.6 .6 repeating. You would have to have the repeating bar. 
negative six and two thirds or just negative 20 over three is fine. Number 14, we're gonna distribute first. We can combine like terms. You have variables on opposite sides. Those three X's both cancel out, right? Those both become zero. And that is a true statement, right? When we get a true statement, it's all solutions or all real numbers. If it's a false statement, we'd say no solution. Number 15, we have variables on both sides. I'm gonna move the 4T because it's negative, which makes it smaller. So I have negative five equals 6T plus 13. Undo addition with subtraction. Divide. We'll get T equals negative three. For 16, we'll distribute first. Okay, we have variables on opposite sides. I'm gonna move the nine Y because it's smaller, right? If we're going opposite sides of the equal sign, we have to move it with the opposite sign. So we'll get 11 over four equals Y. Um, let's see, you could have that as two and three fourths or 2.75 as well. At number 17, the variables are on the same side, so we get those together with the same sign and we just combine like terms. X equals 14. Number 18, we do sort of have this larger fraction happening, but this two isn't part of it, so we need to make sure we're moving that first. And then we can deal with the denominator. I want to do multiplication with division. Get W equals negative three. Number 19, we're solving for Y, so X and Y are on the same side, so we'll have to move that X over first. So we'll say two Y equals four plus X. So just get y equals two plus x over two. There are other ways that you could write that. Okay, so you could have that as a one half x plus two. Um, again, I'm just looking that you're getting y by itself. Number 20, x and y are together, so I'm gonna move that to x first. Make sure we have that as a negative four y. So get y equals a negative one. Two negatives make a positive. Two divided by four is one half, right? Four divided by two is two, but two divided by four is one half. We're at 21, we have to move our x first. So again, that's a negative y, right? Which means there's really a negative one there. So say y equals 10 minus three x. 22, we wanna solve for S. So we'll undo any addition and subtraction first. So we'll have RS equals W minus U. Then we'll undo multiplication with division. We can't simplify it any further, so we'll just get W minus U all over R as our final answer. Okay, then we have some absolute value problems. I don't know what is all over this paper. We're just gonna deal with it. Okay, so 23. Um, here's what's inside the absolute value, that four is not, so we need to move that first. Okay, then we'll do two options. So we'll have x plus three equals 16, and x plus three equals negative 16. x equals 13, x equals negative 19. Number 24, this negative four isn't sitting right against the absolute value bars, right? So if we had something that looked like this, 
This is attached with multiplication and we would undo it with division. Okay, but this right here is attached with addition and subtraction, right? So we need to use our rule where we look in front. So we have the absolute value of 2x plus 6 equals 0. Splitting this into two options, right, is a 2x plus 6 equals 0 and a 2x plus 6 equals negative 0. And this one just doesn't make sense, right? We don't have a negative and positive 0. So that just leaves us 1 to solve. So x equals negative 3. 25, I kind of got things too crowded together here, huh? So let's recopy over here and give myself more space. Well, actually, I'll have space down here. This is a short one, right? So again, we're moving this stuff outside. And now we have the absolute value equals a negative. And we can't have it equal a negative, so this one would be a no solution. Then the last page we went over in class today, but just some pointers, 26, you should be including something about getting the variables together by using the opposite signs, getting the constants together by maybe subtracting 12, and then undoing multiplication with division. You should be writing sentences, you should have descriptions. Okay, 27, we should be talking about the fact that you should have moved the negative five first, okay, because we do order of operations backwards, and so that's what we need to do first. 28, we should be talking about the fact that right here when we distribute, this should be a 6, and then correcting that math. And 29 and 30, we went over in class completely.